Here are 50 most commonly asked SAP Basis Basics interview questions, along with detailed and informative answers. 1. What is SAP Basis, and what are its key responsibilities? Answer. SAP Basis is the technical foundation of SAP applications. Responsible for system administration, configuration, and performance optimization. Key responsibilities include system installation, maintenance, user management, transport management, and database administration. 2. Explain the SAP system landscape and its components. Answer. The SAP system landscape comprises development dev, quality assurance QA, and production prod environments. Each landscape consists of application servers, database servers, and clients. Dev is used for development, QA for testing, and prod for live operations. 3. What is a client in SAP, and how does it function? Answer. Client in SAP represents an independent business unit within a system. It contains its own set of master data, customizing settings, and transactional data. Clients ensure data segregation and security within the system. 4. What is a transport request, and how does it work in SAP basis? Answer. A transport request is a container used to move configuration changes and developments from one SAP system to another. It collects objects modified in the development environment and transports them to QA and prod environments using the transport management system TMS. 5. How do you perform system monitoring in SAP basis? Answer. System monitoring in SAP basis involves using tools like SAP Solution Manager or third-party monitoring tools to monitor system performance, availability, and resource utilization. It includes monitoring system logs, work processes, database performance, and background job execution. 6. Describe the process of system refresh in SAP basis. Answer. System refresh involves copying the production system data to the quality assurance or development system to ensure alignment with the latest production data. It includes activities such as system backup, database export or import, client copy, and post refresh tasks. 7. What is the role of a SAP system administrator SAP basis consultant? Answer. The SAP system administrator SAP basis consultant is responsible for managing SAP system's technical infrastructure, ensuring system availability, performance, and security. They perform system installations, upgrades, patching, user management, and system monitoring. 8. Explain the concept of system landscape transformation in SAP basis. Answer. System landscape transformation involves restructuring and reorganizing the existing SAP landscape to align with business needs. It includes activities like system consolidation, system split, system merge, and conversion to SAP S for HANA. 9. How do you troubleshoot performance issues in SAP basis? Answer. Troubleshooting performance issues in SAP basis involves analyzing system logs, workload distribution, memory usage, CPU utilization, and database performance. It may include tuning parameters, optimizing skull queries, and adjusting hardware resources. 10. What is the role of SAProoter in SAP basis? Answer. SAProoter is a proxy server that acts as a secure communication channel between SAP systems and external networks, like the Internet. It ensures secure data exchange by filtering and encrypting network traffic between SAP systems and external clients. 11. How do you handle system upgrades and patching in SAP basis? Answer. System upgrades and patching involve updating SAP software components to newer versions or applying patches to fix software bugs and vulnerabilities. It includes activities like planning, preparation, testing, and execution using tools like Software Update Manager Sum. 12. Explain the concept of high availability and disaster recovery in SAP basis. Answer. High availability ensures uninterrupted system operation by minimizing downtime through redundancy and failover mechanisms. 
Disaster recovery involves restoring systems and data in the event of a catastrophic failure. It includes data backups, standby systems, and recovery procedures. 13. What are the different types of SAP system copies, and when are they used? Answer. The different types of SAP system copies include homogeneous system copy, heterogeneous system copy, and client copy. Homogeneous system copy is used for system refresh and system migration within the same platform. Heterogeneous system copy is used for system migration across different platforms. Client copy is used for copying clients within the same system. 14. How do you manage SAP licenses in SAP basis? Answer. Managing SAP licenses involves monitoring license usage, compliance, and optimizing license costs. It includes activities like license measurement, usage reporting, license key installation, and license optimization strategies. 15. What is SAP Early Watch Alert, and how does it help in SAP basis? Answer. SAP Early Watch Alert is a proactive monitoring service provided by SAP to analyze system performance, identify potential issues, and recommend corrective actions. It helps SAP basis consultants proactively manage system health, stability, and performance. 16. Explain the process of applying support packages and SAP notes in SAP basis. Answer. Applying support packages involves updating SAP software components with bug fixes, enhancements, and legal changes. SAP notes are official documents providing solutions to known issues and best practices. The process includes downloading, deploying, and validating support packages and SAP notes. Using tools like SAP Support Portal and Software Update Manager some. 17. What is the role of SAP Solution Manager in SAP Basis? Answer. SAP Solution Manager is a centralized application management platform that supports SAP system implementation, operation, and continuous improvement. It provides tools and functionalities for system monitoring, root cause analysis, change management, and service desk integration. 18. How do you perform system backups and restores in SAP basis? Answer. System backups involve creating copies of system data, configuration, and logs to protect against data loss and system failures. It includes full backups, incremental backups, and differential backups using tools like SAP Backup Tools, Database Backup Utilities, and third-party backup solutions. Restores involve recovering system data and configurations from backups in the event of data corruption or system failures. 19. What are the different types of SAP users, and how do you manage them in SAP basis? Answer. The different types of SAP users include dialogue users, system users, service users, and communication users. Dialogue users are interactive users accessing SAP systems. System users are used for system-to-system -system communication. Service users are used for background processing and system services. Communication users are used for external communication with SAP systems. User management involves creating, modifying, and deleting user accounts, assigning roles and authorizations, and monitoring user activity. 20. How do you perform system monitoring and performance tuning in SAP basis? Answer. System monitoring involves monitoring system resources, performance indicators, and critical metrics using tools like SAP Solution Manager, SAP Comms, and third-party monitoring tools. Performance tuning involves optimizing system parameters, memory usage, workload distribution, and database performance to improve system responsiveness and efficiency. 21. Explain the concept of SAP kernel upgrades and their importance in SAP basis. Answer. SAP kernel upgrades involve updating the SAP kernel, which is the core component of the SAP system, responsible for communication between the application and the database layer. Kernel upgrades include updating executables, libraries, and configuration files to improve system stability, security, and performance.
22. What is SAPRouter, and how does it enhance security in SAP bases? Answer. SAPRouter is a software component that acts as a proxy server between SAP systems and external networks. It enhances security by providing secure communication channels, filtering network traffic, and encrypting data transmissions between SAP systems and external clients, such as customers and partners. 23. How do you handle system refresh activities in SAP bases? Answer. System refresh activities involve copying data and configurations from a production system to a non-production system to keep development or testing environments up to date. It includes activities like system backup, data export or import, client copy, and post-refresh tasks like reconfiguration and testing. 24. What is the purpose of SAP spool administration in SAP bases? Answer. SAP spool administration involves managing print requests generated by SAP applications. It includes configuring printer devices, defining output devices, monitoring spool requests, and troubleshooting print-related issues to ensure reliable printing and document distribution within SAP systems. 25. Explain the concept of SAP data archiving and its benefits in SAP bases. Answer. SAP data archiving involves removing inactive and historical data from the production database to secondary storage for long-term retention. It helps reduce database size, optimize system performance, and comply with data retention policies and regulatory requirements. 26. What is the purpose of database administration in SAP bases, and how is it performed? Answer. Database administration in SAP bases involves managing and maintaining the underlying database infrastructure, such as database installation, configuration, backup, recovery, and performance tuning. It ensures database availability, data integrity, and optimal performance for SAP applications. 27. How do you perform SAP system installations and upgrades in SAP bases? Answer. SAP system installations and upgrades involve deploying SAP software components, applying support packages, and migrating systems to newer releases. It includes activities like system preparation, software installation, configuration, post-installation tasks, and system validation. 28. What is SAP single sign-on SSO, and how does it enhance user experience in SAP bases? Answer. SAP Single Sign-On SSO allows users to access multiple SAP systems and applications with a single set of credentials. It enhances user experience by eliminating the need for multiple logins, reducing password fatigue, and improving system security through centralized authentication and identity management. 29. Explain the role of SAP Solution Manager in SAP Basis Activities such as system monitoring, configuration management, and incident management. Answer, SAP Solution Manager serves as a centralized platform for managing SAP landscapes, supporting activities such as system monitoring, configuration management, incident management, change management, and service desk integration. It provides tools and functionalities to streamline SAP basis activities, improve system reliability, and ensure compliance with best practices. 30. How do you ensure system security and compliance with regulatory requirements in SAP basis? Answer. Ensuring system security and compliance involves implementing security measures, such as user authentication, authorization, encryption, and audit logging. It also involves enforcing security policies, performing regular security assessments, and complying with industry standards and regulatory requirements such as GDPR, SOX, and PCI DSS. Regular security audits, vulnerability assessments, and security patches are essential to mitigate security risks and ensure regulatory compliance. 31. What is the system landscape directory sold in SAP basis, and what is its role? Answer. The System Landscape Directory SOD is a central repository 
In SAP systems that stores landscape information such as system landscape topology, software component versions, and system properties. Its role is to provide a consistent view of the system landscape to various SAP components and applications for system configuration, integration, and monitoring. 32. Explain the concept of SAP system monitoring and its importance in SAP bases. Answer. SAP system monitoring involves tracking and analyzing system metrics, logs, and performance indicators to ensure system availability, performance, and reliability. It includes activities like monitoring system resources, work processes, background jobs, database performance, and system alerts to proactively identify and resolve issues before they impact system operations. 33. What are SAP profiles, and how are they used in SAP bases? Answer. SAP profiles are configuration files that define the runtime parameters and settings for SAP instances and processes. They control various aspects of system behavior, such as memory allocation, work process distribution, and buffer management. SAP basis administrators use profiles to customize system behavior based on specific requirements and workload characteristics. 34. Describe the process of SAP system installation in SAP bases. Answer. SAP system installation involves deploying SAP software components on server hardware and configuring them to create a functional SAP system landscape. The process includes steps like system preparation, software installation, database setup, post-installation configuration, and system validation. SAP installation guides and tools like SAPinst are used to perform system installations. 35. What is the role of the SAP MMC SAP Management Console in SAP Bases? Answer. The SAP MMC SAP Management Console is a graphical user interface GUI tool used to manage and monitor SAP system components, such as application servers, instances, and services. It provides administrators with centralized access to system management tasks, logs, and performance monitoring tools, enhancing system administration efficiency and productivity. 36. Explain the concept of SAP transport management and its significance in SAP basis. Answer. SAP transport management involves controlling the movement of development objects and configuration changes between SAP systems using transport requests. It ensures consistent system configurations and promotes the separation of development, quality assurance, and production environments. Transport management tools like the Transport Management System TMS automate the transport process and provide traceability and control over changes. 37. How do you troubleshoot SAP system performance issues in SAP bases? Answer. Troubleshooting SAP system performance issues involves analyzing system metrics, logs, and resource utilization to identify bottlenecks and performance constraints. It includes activities like workload analysis, memory profiling, skull tuning, and system profiling to optimize system performance scalability, and responsiveness. 38. What is SAP Solution Manager, and how does it support SAP basis activities? Answer. SAP Solution Manager is an integrated application management platform designed to support SAP system implementation, operation, and continuous improvement. It provides tools and functionalities for system monitoring root cause analysis, change management, incident management, and service desk integration, enhancing SAP basis activities efficiency and effectiveness. 39. Describe the process of system landscape transformation in SAP basis. Answer. System landscape transformation involves reorganizing and restructuring the existing SAP landscape to align with changing business needs or technology requirements. It includes activities like system consolidation, system split, system merge, and conversion to SAP S for HANA. SAP tools and methodologies like SAP Landscape Transformation Slot and SAP Transformation Navigator are 
used to plan and execute landscape transformation projects. 40. What is the role of the SAP NetWeaver Administrator NUA in SAP bases? Answer. The SAP NetWeaver Administrator NUA is a web-based administration tool used to manage and monitor SAP NetWeaver-based applications and systems. It provides administrators with centralized access to system configuration, monitoring, and troubleshooting tools, enhancing system administration efficiency and productivity. 41. Explain the concept of SAP system sizing and its importance in SAP bases. Answer. SAP system sizing involves determining the hardware and software requirements for deploying SAP systems. Based on factors like user workload, transaction volumes, data volumes, and performance expectations. It ensures that SAP systems are adequately provisioned to meet business needs and performance requirements, minimizing the risk of performance degradation and system downtime. 42. How do you perform SAP system backups and restores in SAP bases? Answer. SAP system backups involve creating copies of system data configuration, and logs to protect against data loss and system failures. It includes activities like full backups, incremental backups, and differential backups using tools like SAP backup tools, database backup utilities, and third-party backup solutions. Restores involve recovering system data and configurations from backups in the event of data corruption or system failures. 43. What is SAP Early Watch Alert, and how does it help in SAP bases? Answer. SAP Early Watch Alert is a proactive monitoring service provided by SAP to analyze system health, performance, and security aspects based on system data and KPIs. It helps basis administrators identify potential issues, optimize system performance, and implement best practices to ensure system reliability, stability, and security. 44. Explain the role of SAP kernel patches and updates in SAP bases. Answer. SAP kernel patches and updates are software updates released by SAP to fix bugs, address security vulnerabilities, and introduce new features and enhancements to the SAP system kernel. Basis administrators apply kernel patches and updates regularly to keep the SAP system up to date, secure, and compliant with SAP's recommendations and best practices. 45. What are SAP system profiles, and how are they managed in SAP basis? Answer. SAP system profiles are configuration files that define the runtime parameters and settings for SAP instances and processes. Basis administrators manage system profiles using tools like SAP Profile Generator, RS10, or manually editing profile files, for example, default. Fee fee L. System profiles control various aspects of system behavior, such as memory allocation, work process distribution, and buffer management. 46. How do you perform system copy and system refresh activities in SAP basis? Answer. System copy involves duplicating an existing SAP system to create a new system instance. While system refresh involves updating a non-production system with data and configurations from a production system. These activities include steps like system backup, data export, or import, client copy, and post copy tasks like reconfiguration and testing. 47. What is SAP Change and Transport System CTS, and how does it facilitate software deployment in SAP bases? Answer. SAP Change and Transport System CTS is a toolset used to manage and control the transport of changes between SAP systems in a distributed environment. It provides a central repository for managing development objects and configurations enabling seamless and controlled software deployment across the system landscape. 48. Explain the concept of SAP user management and security in SAP basis. Answer. SAP user management and security involve creating and managing user accounts, roles, and authorizations to control access to SAP systems and data. It includes activities like user provisioning, 
role assignment, password policy enforcement, and user authentication mechanisms to ensure system security and compliance with regulatory requirements. 49. How do you perform system upgrades and patch management in SAP bases? Answer. System upgrades involve migrating SAP systems to newer software releases or support packages to leverage new features, bug fixes, and security patches. Basis administrators plan and execute upgrade projects using tools like Software Update Manager Sum and Maintenance Planner to ensure minimal system downtime and data loss during the upgrade process. 50. What are SAP system logs and how are they used in SAP Basis? Answer. SAP system logs are records of system activities, events, and errors generated by SAP components and applications. Basis administrators use system logs like the System Logs M21, Developer Trace Dev Work Process, and Application Logs Cell 1. For monitoring, troubleshooting, and auditing system operations, performance, and security incidents. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.